Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexandria and today we're using Koki's Professional Eyeshadow Palette. But before I really get into the details of what we're using today, I want to quickly introduce myself to anybody who's new to the channel. My name is Alexandra, but I also go by Alex. I'm a beauty creator here on YouTube and I have a fashion blog and I have a wrestling podcast. So if you're interested in any of those two things, I will definitely link it below so you could check it out. All right, so let's get into the what we're doing today. So if you watch my video two weeks ago when I was using, I believe it was two weeks ago, I was using Koki's Professional Eyeshadow Palette and I discussed that I purchased th these and I separated the videos when I used them. I used the Utopia Palette and you, if you watched it, you knew the struggle that I had with this palette and I'm going to open it and show you guys the palette itself just to give you guys a um, kind of refresh your minds about it. So here it is and you saw the struggle that I had with this palette. It was... We don't know if it was the eye cream that I used that created the patchiness of the shadows that created just did not work with me. But I definitely did create a look using this palette. So if you're interested in watching that video, I would definitely link it below also so you can see it. This is not my first time using Koki's Professional Eyeshadow Palette. This is my fourth time. I do have two videos prior than this one. That I have used besides using the Utopia, I have used two other ones, which they were phenomenal and I love them. Don't know what happened here. And like I said in my last time when I spoke about it, that I will give this palette one more time a chance because I don't know what created the issues with this palette. For today, we're using the Goddess eyeshadow palette, and this is really pretty. And this is for all my neutral girls who love the earthy tones and love the really not bright colors, but that really soft earthy tone that it's wearable for almost every day. So here is the palette, super beautiful. I love it. This palette really redeemed itself compared to the Utopia one from the last time that I used the video. The pigments were there, no creasing, no patchiness when I grabbed it with my brush and blended all over my lid, nothing at all. So what I use for this one to add on my lids, I'm definitely gonna put what I use below, but I just wanna let you guys know. As always, I always use Milani's eyeshadow palette, but I did not have it on hand. I don't know where I put it at, so I end up using a concealer, Koki's concealer, on my lid very little when i tell you it's so little because i have oily lids and i cannot use concealer as a primer i really can't so when i use that it kind of creates makes my lids really oily and kind of like you know it mixes it up so the oils of it kind of like just makes it create like these patchiness and it starts becoming very slippery and it doesn't work very well with my oily skin using a concealer base as a primer so i end up using very little to apply this since i couldn't find milani's eyeshadow palette uh, my eyeshadow primer so i use this for i use my concealer as a primer so let me reopen it close it like twice um so here it is very blendable it worked very nice i was so happy this palette kind of did its job because i was so disappointed on the utopia from the video that I used on when I used it for, but I'm definitely gonna retry to, to try to use it one more time to kind of see if it was just me when I used my eye cream to kind of like apply it on my lids. But yeah, I was a little disappointed with the Utopia, but the previous two eyeshadow palettes that I will definitely link below that I have done a tutorial for, they went very well on the lid and they performed very nicely. So I don't know what happened with this one so super beautiful i will definitely put the price points here on the screen if you're interested in picking it up the palette super affordable i picked it up at my local rite aid so that's where i got it and like i said super for any girl that loves their neutral shades and just loves to wear these colors this just reminds me super earthy tones fall but you could wear this all year round just because of the colors such a wearable eyeshadow palette for anybody who's interested in picking it up picking this up so yeah 
and also for today's tutorial i showed you guys how i apply my lashes on this video i will definitely link the eyelashes that i'm using they're at amazon i picked them up from amazon anything from amazon i do earn a small commission to give you guys a heads up i you i have done a eyeshadow how to apply my eyeshadow i mean my lashes in a facebook live so if you are interested in that i will definitely link the last facebook live that i had that i applied these lashes these are not my magnetic they're actually just glue regular lashes with the glue no magnetic this time around but if you're interested on how i did it on facebook like live i will link it below and and in this tutorial you'll definitely see it they're super comfortable the lashes that i'm using they don't bother me at all it's just even though they're a little thicker than i usually like them i usually get them more natural but they feel great they 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 don't feel heavy at all they don't bother i use clear mascara mascara I, i'm having a moment of here mascara to blend them between my real and the fake lashes together so i don't have the black mascara kind of clumping and mixing them together it's easier to clean them up when they use, i use a clear mascara but they're really comfortable really nice so anybody who's wondering on that because my lashes don't get this long when i use just mascara but here today i use fake lashes so yeah so let's get into the tutorial very simple tutorial very easy to follow if you want to follow me on instagram i will definitely put my screen on the screen and down below and i want to say thank you so much for watching this video like comment and subscribe i would love to have you here and i want to say thank you and i hope you enjoyed the tutorial bye <music>